Hello everyone, my name is Mauro Sicard from Bricks Templates and today I'm going to show you how you can easily edit the rich text inside any CMS collection. This is a question that we commonly get from a lot of our customers that they are looking to edit the rich content that goes inside a blog or maybe inside like a portfolio item or something like that. What I'm describing here is pretty much this. You can see that, for example, here in this template, Corporation X, we have a block, and you can see that the block lists all the different uh, block items, like this one from on the marketing category and this one on the business category. And if we open one of those, you will see that there's like a rich text field that propagates all of this content. So this is really one field that we can go into Webflow and you will see that it has like all of that content inside. As you can see here, it's called rich text and it has all of this content. However, you can see that this has like certain styling and you can you even have like, for example, this uh, quote that has some particular design, but it can be a little hard uh, to actually edit that if you don't know how to do that. So that's why we're here to explain that. So the process is pretty much the following. Once you are on a template, you just need to open the page section and you just need to go into blog post template. Please keep in mind that if you are looking to edit the rich text of another uh, page, you can just go into that page, but the process will be exactly the same for all of them and it will also be exactly the same for all of the different templates. So no worries if you are editing this template that you were describing in the video or just any other template. The process is actually the same. And if you have any questions, our support team will be more than happy to help you at any time. So, okay, let's go into this. You can see that we're already uh, inside the blog post template here under CMS collections. And, it's, and if we scroll a little, you will see that we have like all of this section in here. But we cannot double click on that. Like it doesn't let us double click, so we cannot edit it. And if we select, like if we remove this, you can see that it just gets, like it removes a lot of the content. So it can be a little hard to know like how to actually edit it. So it is really not that hard and I will explain it the following way. The first thing that you need to do is duplicate this rich text. That way, like in case something goes wrong, you still have the other one and you don't need to worry about that. Then as you have this one, you can just click in here, click get text from blog post and you can uncheck that. And you will see, you, it will just say, what is a rich text element? Now, inside that rich text ele element in here, you can see that you have a lot of items. You have heading twos, paragraphs, heading four, all of that. What you have uh, here is the option to edit those individual elements. For example, one of the most common elements that people want to edit are quotes. So in that case, you just need to double click here. You will be able to edit it. You can just click enter, like so just do a line, line break. Click in this little plus icon and you will see you have a lot of different options here. So for example, I will type something here and I will select that and I will make it a quote. You can see that automatically it is going to get format as a quote as it is intended on the template. Now that it is in there, you can actually select, select it. You will see that it says blog quote. So in that point, you actually have the control to start editing it. Then you can go here, for example, in color and maybe you want to make it yellow. Like if you make it yellow, you will see that the one here inside the rich text just got updated too. And all of your CMS uh, that have the same element will be updated. So it's completely scalable. At the same time, let's say that you want to edit a link. That is something, another thing that is commonly want to be edited. You can just select something here. You can just you know, like click here, link, uh, add some link like bricktemplates.com. Uh, and in here, you can select the link same like the other things and I will just uh, like this key thing here uh, actually it doesn't have yeah I will put all links in here uh, you can just select all links inside a rich text so just going back you can select link you can click on this little check and then once you select the link you just click this little thing here, click all links and then nest inside rich text. With that, you can just change that to any other color. I will select red, for example, and you will see that the ones here will be updated as well. You can apply this with pretty much all elements. If you want to edit like images, you can just add an image, make that change, and that's all. 
If you want to make some heading another font, you can just select that heading, change the font, and that's all. And as you are ready, it's just a matter of like going back and you will see those changes are applied. Just remember that after you, you like make that change, as you, you apply all of those things, you can remove this rich text again. You will see the rich text that it's already connected to the CMS will remain like that and it will get the changes applied and you don't need to do anything else. If you have any questions on this, we invite you to send us an email to support at richtemplate.com. Here in the footer, you have a contact us button. Just click on that. It will open your email client. You can send us a message with any questions you have about this. Our goal here is to help you and to set, set you for success with your new Webflow template. So if you need any more help, if you have some confusion, please feel free to reach out and we're more than happy to assist you. So this is Marcy Card from Bricks Templates and hope you have a great day.